be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm gonna be going over the key to chopping samples in Logic Pro 10. The key to chopping samples in Logic Pro 10. So what do I mean by going over the key to chopping samples? Basically, I'm gonna be giving you a simple tip um, that's gonna help you to chop any sample. Whether you put it into the quick sampler, whether you drag it and put it into uh, you know the workspace window, it doesn't matter. Um, this this key is gonna help you chop your samples no matter what. So. Let's go ahead and start off here. I'm actually gonna drag it, uh, a sample into the quick sampler. So we're gonna create a software instrument track. And then um, under instrument, you would select uh, the quick sampler. But anyway, y'all, this is the quick sampler. Um, you know what I'm saying? You find it in here, it's right there. We're gonna drag and drop a sample right in here. Now, um, I already went to splice and um, typed in so up here in the search and I came to this sample right here. So we're gonna use this sample. I'm gonna actually play it first and then I'm gonna show you the key to, to choppy samples. <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of goodies in there. Um, and that's gonna be your first tip here is to actually listen to the sample all the way through. All right, so because you wanna, there are some goodies like in the second half of this sample and in the first half. Um, so let me just go ahead and we're gonna close this window right here and we're gonna focus on the sample right here. Now we're in classic mode, but if you really wanna chop up a sample um, using the quick sampler, you're gonna wanna go to slice, okay? And what I'm gonna do is just take this all the way down here, the sensitivity, and we're gonna go to manual, okay? In the, under mode, okay? Um, we're also gonna put this sample on all the white keys, or you could do all the black keys, but we're gonna put it on all the white keys. And we can come over here and start wherever we want to, but we'll start at key C, uh, we'll start at C1, all right? Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and push this follow tempo button So, um, just wanted to click on it here. I'm gonna also go ahead and push up, pull up my musical typing. And what this is gonna do is just allow you to see what I'm, you know, pressing on the keyboard, see how we chop up this sample. So the key to this is understanding these transients, okay? And what is a transient? If I, has, if I hold down option and scroll left or right, you can zoom in here, okay? And uh, basically what the transients are is these little top points right here on your sample, okay? And so what I wanna really cover in this video is no matter what the sampler is or where you're dragging and dropping the sampler or the sample, you're pretty much just gonna go go ahead and focus at um, on these little points uh, where the sample dips or the transients dip, okay? Those are gonna be great points to go ahead and chop your sample. So basically, as you can see here, right before it peaks, those are usually good places, and right where it dips. Okay, so it's dip right here. That means you know you're not seeing a whole lot of like jump, jumpy parts like compared to in here. It's going to be kind of a little bit harder to chop up this sample here. But if you focus on like the beginning point right here, right at the beginning of this sample, or this this uh, this wave file. You know what I mean? It's about paying attention to these transients. So the dips and the peaks in your sample. All right? The dips and the peaks in the sample. So like anywhere right here, this is going to be a good place to chop. This is going to be a good place to chop. This is going to be a good place. This, this, this. And you can kind of see that pattern right right before the, the, the transient starts peaking again, you know, uh, and everything like that. So. What you want to do is you'll listen to this and uh, just pick out the parts that you want. So we could just push uh, C1 on a keyboard. 
So I could I could go over here and just grab this part. June, June, or June. So I can go here over here. And as you can see, I'm using the trans, you can use the transient aspect of things to get the sample before or after. So like what I mean by that is I'm just trying to grab from here to here, but I'm using this whole transient method basically to look at the peaks and the, the, the dips to get the end of that sample too. So check this out. This is BC1. And you know how um, I'm using this little dip right here and actually you can see how that's a clean sample. So now if I want to keep on chopping this up, I can go ahead and push D1 and see where I want to extend this sample to. So anyway, as you can see here, I'm just coming in here and I'm looking at some of the peaks and the dips. In this particular situation, I didn't want to go ahead and grab this part, but if I did, you know, it would be easier to kind of just come over here in one of those dips and then that make that my uh, my next point. So um, what we're gonna do, let me just come here. And as you can see here, I'm like, man, where would I, where would I chop this up next? You know what I'm saying? See where this transient is, this part right here. You see it's this little peak right here. So that means that you can go into the dip and should be able to catch something right here to where this will be our next note. So this is E1. All right, so the next sample is gonna start right here. Even though um, this is still kind of like a, it's not a, a lot of big dips in this, I can still see where I want to chop this next sample up because if you focus on the transient, which is going to be this this little peak peaking part right here, you can still come in here and see like dips and everything like that. So I'm hoping that this is helping out y'all or helping y'all out. But um, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video on how, you know, the key to sampling and again, it's all about the transients and paying attention to, you know, the peaks and the dips in the sample. All right. different things I can put this on the chromatic uh, scale here which is going to be the black and white keys and I could chop this up even more Also, you want to make sure that you zoom in. Um, just hold down Option and scroll left or right on either your mouse or your trackpad, because um, sometimes 
you might come over here and think that you're hitting right at the beginning of this dip and you might see that you need to come over a little bit more so like if you look at this little guy right here you could probably pull him in a little bit more or technically this the dip starts kind of like right here And so took a little bit of time. Sometimes it takes time like that to just chop it up. But uh, for the most part, we have this chopped up here and it's lined up with all the different notes. And again, I just wanted to go over some of the keys of actually chopping up samples. Uh, again, if I wanted to, um, this is with the quick sampler, but I could do the same thing um, right here in the workspace window. So I can, I can drag and drop this sample right here in the workspace window. And I can still come in here and look at this audio file and just check out the peaks and the dips in this. So I double click on here. I can have a like a more zoomed in version of this. Um, and you just want to take your playhead and do the same thing here. And it might be a little bit easier to chop up the sample while it's in the workspace window. And then you can always pull this into the quick sampler and do things like that. Reason why I say it might be easier because I can come over here and just like focus on certain parts with the uh, this loop marker. <laughs>
stuff like that. Um, and then I can still do the same thing that you saw me do with the quick sampler, but I could do it over here in the workspace window. So, so if I want to chop right there, then I can do command T, splits that. And then you can start chopping this up quicker just by looking at the dip. Like, okay, wherever the next dip is, probably a good place. <clears throat> probably a good place to go ahead and chop the sample up. Um, you know, as you see what I'm saying, I'm putting that play here right on these dips. Okay. Right on these dips in the sample. Use, you know, looking at the transients. So yeah, this is this is like, uh, yeah, this is pretty much gonna be what I would tell y'all, man, as far as like some sampling tips and things like that, man. So make sure y'all go ahead and get subscribed to the channel. Uh, if you like this video, smash the like button. Also, make sure that you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We're going to be showing you all of the uh, simple tips and tricks that you need to know as far as chopping up your music and making your music better, making melodies, uh, drum patterns, um, mixing, we go over arrangement, a lot of different things that we have. The best thing about it is we have full video courses, okay? So go to the site, check that out. We also have a couple of loop packs, royalty free packs that I made, okay? These are not on Splice. These are not on any other site, you know what I mean? This is stuff that's specific to you you know what i mean so make sure you go check that out we got bundle deals and we also have a one-on-one -on -one deal where you can actually do a live zoom call with me okay this means that you can you know get all your questions answered as we go along so we can pretty much do a tutorial just like this but instead of this video where you can't like respond to me outside of you know leaving a comment you know with that live zoom call you can ask questions back and forth but go ahead and click the links below man and i can't wait to see you in the next video or see you in a live zoom call or see you in one of my courses thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video